Once you've added target and source equipment to a model, you're ready to add duct. Well, almost. Before adding the duct, you need to check out the system definitions. To do this, you need to make sure you've started your drawing from a template. Duct system definitions are configured for two primary purposes. To control the display properties and to set duct sizing calculation values. From the Manage tab, select the Style Manager. You can also click the HVAC Systems Definition shortcut under Style Manager. When the Style Manager opens, look under the HVAC Objects section. From here, you can select the duct system definitions. There are already several that are defined in this drawing. This is a sample of the systems that are loaded in the Master Drawing SystemDefinitions.dwg which is located in your content folders. Click the Supply System Definition. The right pane shows several tabs. General sets the name and description of the system. This data can be used in schedules. Design Rules sets the abbreviation and system group. The system group prevents items from being connected together when they are dissimilar systems. This will be discussed more in a minute. Design rules also include one of the more important settings, the layer. Autodesk uses an alias known as a layer key, which is linked to a database. While this lesson does not go into detail about editing system definitions, know that this alias will help you comply with the National CAD standard. As you add duct, the layer will be created if it doesn't exist, or it will be used if it does. If the layer is created, then the color, line type, line weight, and other layer features are pulled from the layer key style and are used to make the layer. You can change the key at any time, but changing the system will only affect new duct, not duct that has already been created. Design parameters are unique to duct objects. Duct is sized in one of two methods, by velocity or by friction loss. You can also set roughness and density. Adjusting all of these values and setting them at the system definition level helps you get better results when using AutoCAD MEP to size duct. Rise and drop relates to the image shown where duct is drawn vertically. Routing preference allows you to associate the types of fittings defined in a preference with the system definition. For example, if you want all supply duct to use slip joint connection types, set it here, and you won't have to select it separately when adding the duct. Display properties at the system definition level let you control the specific layer for contours, center lines, hatches, insulation, lining, crossed objects, and more. While this lesson does not cover editing these values, understand that by selecting the system definition when creating the duct, you're saving all of this information to the duct, as well as using it to help create consistent construction documents. Select OK to exit the dialog. Next, check the options. Before you create any duct, you need to check the following items. Type OP on the command line and press Enter. Scroll to the MEP tabs. Remember the Systems group? On the MEP Layout Rule tab, there's a Connection Test Mismatch setting. By default, AutoCAD MEP will ask before it lets you connect systems that belong from two different groups. Leave this set to Prompt for User Input. Select the MEP Catalogs tab. The style-based content paths include a setting for the location of system definition drawings, which allows you to look for additional HVAC system definitions that may not be loaded into your drawing. Select OK to close the Options dialog. Now that you've reviewed these primary items, you're ready to start adding duct to your model. 